So today I'm test driving the Model S to consider buying it and we're gonna make a YouTube video about it. It's a beautiful car, it's fast, it feels fast. The interior is beautiful. Stu is in the car with me, my coworker. And holy crap, that's a beautiful car, I love it. I'm gonna get in it and I'm gonna show you guys the way the car drives. Uh, <clears throat> I'll pass the camera to Stu, maybe Stu can hold the camera for us and we can make a video. Uh, I love this car, Stu. You wanna hold the camera for me? Sure. Once we drive, and this is one of the best things I've ever, ever touched, the yoke steering wheel, you know? What is it saying, the key? Tap key or press the drive. How do I, what do I have to do? Uh, it's saying tap it here. There we go. So to drive in a Tesla, you have to hold this car icon and go forward and it releases it for you to drive. Oh, the door's still open. Yeah, just open it and close it there. Okay, so it's in drive mode now. You can see the camera, I mean, the big display. I love it. The car is beautiful. I'm a Tesla fan now after driving this. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'm a big Tesla fan now. Uh, York steering wheel is awesome. It it just gets confusing when you're turning. You know, you're, you're waiting to hold something here. And there's nothing there to hold. So it's a cool car. The car is fast. I just launched it early at the traffic light. And... I felt my eyes going to the back of my head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the car. It's beautiful. I, there's a lot of features in the car that obviously my Mustang don't have. And if I'm to tell you guys the difference between the Mustang and this is that you feel the power in the Mustang. You feel the vibrations. You feel the power. You hear it. But this, you don't feel nothing. And when you get on it, oh boy, I'm telling you. You feel every little thing in this car when you get on it. Your eyes go to the back of your head. What's your experience with it, Stu? What do you think? Oh, I love it. Well, he, he's an owner himself, so <laughs> he knows everything about this car more than I do. I'm, I'm still learning it. How long did it take you to learn all the features in here? I uh, have just kept mine in chill mode. Okay. So uh, I have not ventured into the performance uh, mm -hmm. level of it. I have a model y performance right so i have the uh, staggered wheels uh the smaller wheels in the front and the wider wheels in the back yep. uh and uh the v extremely low profile uh tires oh i just had it activated oh okay i was trying to activate it right there yeah what could be driving with all my hands, point, point the camera at me. Look at me, I'm just yep. hanging out in here. Yep. <laughs> with all my hands holding the steering wheel, that's beautiful. But go ahead, Stu, with your- he, He's time. in autopilot mode. Yep. You can see on the dash there, the little blue uh, uh, symbol down in the bottom right-hand corner. This will, uh, in auto auto uh, pilot mode, if, if he was on the highway and following somebody, and they were going slower than uh, he. They're stopping at the green light. Yeah, it, it, go ahead and override okay. it. Uh, this is still beta oh, software. It, it came out. It came out green light on here, telling me there's a green light ahead of me. Wow. Ah, okay. Here, let's go Harrisburg North here. Autopilot mode is beautiful. Imagine you just sit, get in your car and you just push a button and then you don't hold nothing and the car just go for you, you know? All you gotta do is just hold your steering wheel a little bit and it overrides when you hold it, to, when you start turning it. Yeah, I'm yeah. realizing that. So does your car have autopilot mode too? Yes. Oh, it's yelling at me because I'm in the red lines. Yes. You were off the right side of the road here. Okay, now. Yeah, I don't know. Should I put an autopilot mode now? Well, probably not until you get into a clear lane. Okay. You tell me when to activate it. I'll activate uh, it. Go ahead anytime. Okay. All right. So, so what's your... Uh, we, we didn't set... The speed okay, limit. so your max is 59. Oh. So, so you can roll your right wheel up. Okay. And increase the max. To 65, because that's the, what the speed limit 65. is. 65. Yeah, the speed limit's 65. And it's detecting the truck next to me with two 
the trail right. is on it. Right. And it's indicating that you're probably going to, uh, let's see if it's going to change lanes for you automatically. Oh, it can change lanes for you. Yes, I believe if this. If I turn the turn signal what on, right? This, what this has in it, what does it say at the bottom there? Speed limit set to 85. Okay, so, uh, well, we're going 65, we're going the speed limit. Uh, and we're going your max speed. Mm -hmm. So push your max speed up to 75. Oh, look, look. I, pu I pushed the turn signal and turned okay. for So that's how it turns. Yep. Wow. You said push it to 65? 75. 75, okay. Yeah. How about 78? Okay. Yeah. So it's just going to follow whatever this car is doing. So, yeah. And, and if they would get out, if the truck and everything would get out of the way, it would, it would raise ahead. the speed up to 75. Wow. Th this is a beautiful car. I, <laughs> I've been to so, I've been in so many cars, been to so many car shows, you know, drove around in beautiful Mercedes like this, you know what I mean? And this Tesla just tops it for me. With what it is, obviously. This being a performance model, it's it's a whole different ball game, you know. Yeah. It's faster. It's quieter. It drives smooth. Well, what percentage is the battery now? How do you tell what percentage the battery is now? You go to charge. Well, you should also see it uh, down there on the left hand side. Oh, 388 miles left. Yeah. Holy crap! What's full? What's full mileage? Then? What was the full amount then? You know, I I don't okay. know. Generally, I do not use uh, the mileage mm -hmm. uh, showing there. Mm -hmm. I uh, change it to percentage. Okay. Uh, okay. Because that mileage is EPA mileage, okay. which is a very conservative uh, amount of mileage mm -hmm. based on you going 30 to 50 miles per hour mm -hmm. flat, no air, n no other consumption on the battery and uh going straight right uh and all and so that is misleading i guess you uh -huh. should say uh i would probably take 20 to 25 percent off of that number right. okay. in order okay. to get to the, to realistic, the realistic number, number. in okay. this car i don't know how to switch it from uh miles to, to percentage. percentage okay the, I'm not a Model beautiful. S sale, sales guy. Okay, it's, it's asking me to hold the steering wheel yep. a little bit. Yeah. Just so to make sure I'm not sleeping. Correct. That, that's that's what you need. It, it needs to do anyway. Correct. So, you know, let me see if I can hold the camera. Yeah. And so you guys, way the car is. Look at the view from here with the York steering wheel with my hands on it and my hands off of it. And if I want to change lanes, which I will show you guys how it works, all I have to do is just push the turn signal button and it will change lanes for me automatically. I don't have to push nothing i don't have to change nothing and it was just go yeah, now it's going to start accelerating now because the, the car in front of you is going to step up now that the truck moved over. right yeah yep See, yep so it's going 67 yep 68 max out at 75 69 70 wow look at it just going without me touching it you know hands free I want to see him go out of the lane and see how fast it would accelerate to get up to speed. Well, we're picking up some traffic here. Yeah, you might want to hold this for me. Just in time for me to hold the steering wheel. <laughs> so yeah, the, you can also, without having to hold the steering wheel, you can move one of your dials, the left-hand dial. You uh, can just spin it a little bit, and that tells it, yeah, you're okay, there. Okay. We're going to take this exit up okay. here. And we got a car right on our rear. Yep. It's not going. It's rear. a car in the rear. Yeah. All right, let's see if it goes ahead. There he goes, doing it. I didn't touch it. All I did was just push the button. That's it. There we go. And it's going to slow me down now, I believe so. Right. Wow. And we're coming up here. Mm -hmm. oh. Now it should. 
How big is this screen here? 17, I think. Wow. That's a huge laptop screen. <laughs> oh, so you can change the display, the number of trips he's done, navigation, safety. I'm not sure what safety is. Sentry mode is what you're looking for, right? No. Okay. Sentry mode is when it's parked, the cameras are still active oh. and will detect somebody in front or on the side mm -hmm. of the car mm -hmm. and record, record their movements. Okay. Now, let's see if it follows the exit. It is. It is. Yep, it is. There's a point improvement right there. Tesla drives its own on itself. You don't have to tell it where to go. So this is to lock the doors, I believe. So yes. like put child lock on. I want to yeah. hear the farting noise though. Where's that at? Ah, forget it. Oh, come on, Stu. I don't. We aren't gonna do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to talk to Lindy about that. She'll, she does it? Yeah, she knows how to do it. <laughs> I always wanted to hear I don't it, get though. into that bullshit. <laughs> Now, let's see how it handles up. Oh, it did it. There we go. It did it. Now, it is set to three car lengths, uh -huh. I, I believe. Uh-huh. In, uh, yeah, three. Oh, okay. So, two. you can increase or decrease that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also do that uh, by uh, the right-hand wheel tilting it left or tilting it right oh, so and that this. that will change right hand right oh, hand right wheel here. no I guess it doesn't do it, it doesn't in here yeah. but uh, in ours the right hand wheel tilt it right or left and it will close or open that distance right and we got the truck so just be prepared yeah yeah I've always been concerned that the Tesla will just go into uh, it. Yeah, uh, well, uh, do, so. do what what we do with our dogs, and that is squirrel. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned squirrel, and the dogs will come off of their feet and start looking around for a squirrel mm -hmm. and running in all directions. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. So we're going to want to go here. This exit? Yeah, take this exit. Oh, I didn't mean to step on it like that. <laughs> the paddle's so soft. Holy crap. My yeah. head just hit the, the back of the headrest. Uh, I, I love the autopilot stuff, though, I'll tell you that. Oh, it raises, you can raise suspension and improve comfort. Because we put it in the, in the mode, I guess it... Right. I'm a big fan of this, but I don't know how I like it. Condition for peak performance, 15 minutes remaining, okay. Wow. And this is driving me. Wow. Yeah, we're in preview mode on yeah. the... How do you let the camera show you in front of you, the camera? You know how you can have the camera showing? that we have the mercedes behind me my left yeah we're uh, gonna want to turn right here yeah. we got something coming up on the right and then on my right side is my right mirror obviously so these are yeah. my two mirrors this is my front my rear camera and i'm trying to figure out what's going to do turn right oh it's no now i didn't touch it it's probably getting confused here yeah, yeah i know it will but i'll hold it <laughs> yeah, you crap. you can go ahead and oh, on can. on this lane. Okay. Yeah, I like the lunch mode in this. I'm gonna try it one more time before we give them the car back. <laughs> I'll tell you that too. We gotta try the lunch mode before I give you the car. Before I give the car back to them. Wow. Well, we aren't gonna get that much of an opportunity on this road. Yeah, I'll wait for the cars to go a little bit, but. What do, you, what do you think? Do you like this Model S? Is it one hey, of your favorite? You know, yeah, they're all great. What would you get? What would the next one be? Model X or well, I, this? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think you should get this one. Th this is an extra, you know, about 50K. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's that's worth it or not. This is also a 
Uh, sit down in. <laughs> Just see your hand. <laughs> this this is a sit down in car. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And and I'm getting old, so I need. Something that you, you know, right so, so I need an X or a Y. Okay, okay. I understand that. Right. Yeah, and and you know the pricing difference between you know the the three and the Y, uh -huh. and then the Y to the uh, S and the X. The mm -hmm. Y to the S and the X is a big jump there. Mm -hmm. You're talking uh, going from in the early seventies to. Uh, uh, 120, 125, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, but you get longer range in the S and the X. Uh, also, the X has the gull wing doors, which are is pretty you cool. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's just fun to do. I, I would probably do this every day. I run out of <laughs> I run out of battery every ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we're taking drag strip mode off yes, of here. Yeah, yes, there yes. we go. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Don't your head hurt? Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stu. <laughs> it's a good hurt. It's a good hurt. Wow. Uh, you you should definitely test yours out. I'm curious what yours would do. I'm sure that it would be something close. Yeah. Uh, well, yours is a performance too. So what, yes, what is it? Is it got like 500 horsepower, right? I don't know. Okay. A bunch. Well, yeah, a bunch. Well, this does uh, probably in the 2.5 second, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, the plaid is 1.9 seconds, and I'm 3.5 seconds. Mm. And that's with uh, not calc uh, with rollout uh, subtracted. Okay. Uh, and all and and all of the. Uh, times that you get from anybody that they, they always uh, subtract the rollout from mm -hmm. it. Wow. Let me get hold of the camera now. Alright guys, so we're going to end the video here. This is my experience with a Tesla Model S performance. You know, and they told me it makes about 700 horsepower. So 700 horsepower in a Tesla car feels way different than a 700 horsepower now. That uh, Mustang with a supercharger on it, you know, it feels good. It has all the technology that th the new cars has. You know, it's beautiful inside. White seats, uh, wooden texture stuff in here, and everything. And I like it. Uh, Stu is probably one of the first people that I know purchase a Y. Most of the people that, that live in York that I know, or friends that I know that have Tesla, is all Model Three, Model X. And I don't even think there's a performance anyways, but Tesla's the new thing, and that's where the world is turning to, to electric car. Yeah, electric cars. Electric cars. And so, it gets a lot of hate, but I think it's a beautiful car. It drives great. And you can't forget the fact that Tesla has the supercharger network. Yes. No other vehicle has their own supercharger network, mm -hmm. and they're building, building, building more supercharger uh, stations uh, around the world, literally. Right. I think they're at 50 some odd thousand here in the United States mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So I did a trip from here to Vermont and back and I stopped three times charging on the way up mm -hmm. and each time my uh, time uh, to charge was between 10 and 15 minutes. Right. And I stopped at superchargers. I just pulled right in plugged right in 10 minutes later it said you're ready to go, go. right yeah so that's Stu's experience with his tesla he's only what about three months now yeah yeah about three months so he seems to like it he, he fights over it with his wife so i, I, have, to, <laughs> I have to compete with my wife as yep. to who's gonna drive who's gonna drive the, the tesla for the day <laughs> and, and i generally lose <laughs> <laughs> that's okay here's the comparison my other vehicle is a uh, Mercedes Sprinter. Yeah. So there's a big difference there between the Tesla and the Sprinter. And the Sprinter, yeah. Wow, look at what he just did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is I don't have to stop on the brake in this car. It just slows itself down, and I like that feature about it, you know? You don't have to go ahead and hit the brakes for you to slow down, So which means you're saving energy, right? Right. Doing that instead of hitting the brakes because... 
obviously everything in this car is generated by energy and if you're not stepping on the brakes you're saving energy you're regenerating the energy in the car back into the battery back into the battery and look i didn't even step on the brake pedal and it stopped on its own and that's one feature i like about the tesla car i love it i'm not gonna lie i i'm big to any car that comes out i'm not a hater you know there's people that hates a whole bunch of teslas and stuff like that and i'm like come on dog this it's a beautiful car it looks good it drives great they have a whole bunch of them in a lot here too so if you guys are looking for one make sure you get model s performance that's what i'll tell you to get that's my choice and i love it so i'll catch you guys in the next episode i hope you enjoyed the video well say bye Stu. bye Stu. <laughs> here's the key we just parked the car we don't have to turn it off no just open the door and it, it doesn't have a door opening you just push the button here and it opens it for you and we get out and it turns itself off so and it's off and then the key is here and i can just tap it i believe somewhere here and it locks itself how, how does how does the door go back in there we go so you tap and it goes back in with mirrors fold in uh yeah, so that, that was my experience with a Tesla Model Y, and I loved it.